I'm never ever going to go from a, a freshly washed face to primer to foundation, never. Hello, let's get that together. So is it gonna mattify at some point? When is it gonna mattify? This is looking a little light. Maybe I should've got another one in Dallas when I was, oh man, okay. Blah, 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 okay? It's the whole nine yards. I was hoping to look very dry and even feel dry, but maybe I'm used to that and that's not how it's supposed to be. to say it's your girl Mananabia and in this video I'm going to be trying out what I hope is going to be one of a few options for you if you're trying to be extremely mad in the hot weather. I want this video to live forever. I want it to be evergreen. Yeah, because you might live in a warm weather climate all year round like Ghana, Jamaica, wherever. Or of course you might be in the US where it's summertime. Whatever it is, I want this to really work. So if you are looking for a wear test, if you're looking for a matte matte, which I hope will be a matte matte makeup concoction, then this is the video for you. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that. I'm, I'm here, Instagram and on TikTok, so make sure you follow. Turn on notifications also because that does make a difference. I'm gonna be doing a wear test today. I'm gonna be going outside for an outside event. I'll take you along with, with check-ins because I wanna see how this holds up in the heat. It is cloudy today, but you know, with partly cloudy, the sun comes in and out. Either way, it's Houston, it's August, it's hot. So I know that this will get its a run for its money. So I'm gonna be using these NARS Soft Matte Primer, which I've never used. I hope that it's gonna be good. I trust it. And I'm pairing it with the NARS Soft Matte Foundation because my guess is, which makes the most sense, is these products are made to go together. Of course, I could pair this with perhaps Estee Lauder or Fenty, but I wanna stick with the same family. I'm thinking that'll make it work best. We already know that the NARS Soft Matte is a fave of mine, it is matte, but naturally our skin produces oil and I will see that my skin will have a shine through the day. I want wonder if this is going to help keep that shine down. Now, don't be mistaken, I did do my skincare routine. That is a must. I'm never ever going to go from a, a freshly washed face to primer to foundation, never. Because in person, and look, I like to film in the bathroom because you all get to, you all get to get really, really close to me and see what's really going on. You want your skin to still look good beneath the makeup. Hello, let's get that together. Make sure you still do your skincare routine. And I'm explaining all of this because it's just who I am. I want you to really learn from my channel. So if you are like, get to it, just fast forward, okay? But it's very important to do your skincare routine. I, just to let you know, did serum. I did vitamin C oil. I did moisturizer that has SPF in it also, okay? And then of course, it's been what, an hour? I wanted it to really absorb before I came to do my makeup. We're not gonna skip that, even though we want to be matte, okay? That is important, do not skip that. If you have ever skipped your skincare routine in effort to be matte, I want you to comment and let me know. I get why you would do that, but that is not the way to go because your skin is going to overcompensate for being so dry by making itself more oily, more likely. You don't want that. So now we got the nice soft matte situation. Come, ooh, okay. It looks like a cream. Okay, now the areas where I get oily is where I'm going to put this primer. If you've watched my video on primers, then this is already a familiar sentiment to you. I'm not going to prime my entire face because my concern is not my entire face. However, if your concern, this is giving lotion, wow. I was expecting this to immediately look matte. Is it gonna mattify at some point? When is it gonna mattify? So you wanna make sure you're, you're mattifying the areas of concern. I'm not gonna mattify my hairline because that's not a concern to me. In fact, I like for certain parts of my face to be dewy naturally as my day progresses because it makes the face look healthy and natural. But of course I don't want my T-zone to be so oily. So that's where I focused it. And of course on the cheeks, just up to right here, as you saw, not all this in the hairline, just like right here and right here and then around the mouth. Where is the mattification? Is it going to happen later? What is going on? I'm just expecting this to be matte right now, like the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, or the Becca Ever Matte. Instructions for use after skincare and before makeup. See, apply a small amount to the face or desired areas, which is what I did, using fingertips. Okay, but when is it gonna mattify? Jesus, man. Andrea, I got this because she loves it. I don't remember her face still looking shiny after she used it. I'm a little concerned, but I'm sure this would be great. I just don't understand. All righty, now the color I wear in NARS Soft Matte is Iguazu Deep 3. Now, I haven't worn this in a long time and it's the summertime and I have gotten a tan, okay? Black skin does tan, brown skin does tan, okay? This is a matte foundation. My face doesn't feel like I did anything. I mean, it feels a little dry, 
but not really. Where is the drying effect? I'm not rubbing too much because I don't want to disrupt anything because then you'll see pilling, which is balling up of the products. Again, I did my skincare, so treading lightly. I don't want this stuff to crumble on me. This is looking a little light. Maybe I should have got another one in Dallas when I was, oh man, okay. It's matching the middle of my face, not so much the perimeter, but we're gonna, wait, it's giving it a little tug. Wow, it's tugging a little bit on the, on the primer and perhaps that's what's helping it adhere or something. If you've used this primer, let me know. I'm not putting so much makeup on the perimeter of the face. It's really the leftover that is making its way as I apply it to the outer part of my face. Because you know that lately in the summer, I've been using a foundation darker than this. Wow. Okay, so the, the foundation and the primer definitely go together. You know what I'm saying? They go together real bad. This is, it's, it's making it, it's not, it's making it tug. How, do you understand what I'm saying? It's tugging. It's not in a bad way. It's almost like the hydro grip where it grips the product. It's definitely tugging. So it's sticking to it. Wow. Okay. Okay. So obviously I'm going to do my concealer as normal as you see here using the Lawless Conceal the Deal Concealer in the color Mink. Alrighty. This is the KVD Vegan Beauty Good Apple Balm. It's a foundation that I love to use as a contour. I'm going to show you how I do my full face because I know y'all might have questions, especially if this is your first video of mine that you're watching. My contour, I'm going to do everything the same. And then at the end, we're going to decide whether or not we're going to spray the face with something matte to really amp it up and then do the wear test. I need to bring out another powder to contour, but I'm just loving this one. It's black owned, Sephora LIS. Like why, you know, why change it? It's like really working well. This is Worthy Deep, it's a bronzer, works really well giving the face a contour. This isn't a bronzer on me, it's a contour because it's giving a shadow, we're not giving it warmth, you know? If you've been here, then you already know I do a face powder. Loving the Sephora 80 brush, it's so fluffy. One size Patrick Star. This is a matte powder foundation. You do have to keep in mind that I am doing a lot of other things besides just the primer, just the foundation. So all of it plays a role in whether or not this face stays matte or doesn't. However, you know that I've never used the, the NARS soft matte primer and then I haven't used the NARS soft matte foundation in a while. So just understand that when it comes to all of this, you know, because I'm doing a matte powder foundation, blah, blah, blah. Okay. It's the whole nine yards that has plays a role. But if we're looking at it in a chemistry sense, we did keep certain variables the same and we changed two of them. All right. I used the Rose Ink Cream Highlighter in Prismatic and then this is a Sephora. Tiger Lily blush in Tiger Lily, okay? So I did something different with my eyeliner because I do the same thing and I wanted to do something different. I only put the eyeliner halfway. Do you see that? It's just a subtle thing. Now, back in the day when I worked at MAC, we used to put a light color on the waterline, and people still do it now, but it's not that common. And then it just makes the eyes look more awake. I don't feel like doing that today per se, but of course in the inner eye, you see that I highlighted, I'm using the color chalk from Milk Makeup. This is the color Kickball, it's gold. And then I did my mascara. I'm waiting on my lashes to be ready. I'm gonna glue on, oh, they look ready right now, hold on. Everything I'm using is linked below, so make sure you check out the description box. Okay, for lip, I feel like I've been in a chokehold with these nudes, but they're really good. Rare Beauty, Kind Words Matte Lip Line, and the color is strong. And then on the inside, this is the Give Beauty Original Me Lovable Me Lipstick. Now, you might like this by itself, but I wanna brighten up the lip on the inside. So I could do a gloss, but I'm not in the gloss mood right now. This is Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink, the color is Poet. The dedication to the blending is very, very important. You wanna get all the edges to be perfect. And then I go like this to make sure that it's not separated in, in between. Okay, so now looking at my face, ignore the highlight, because that was intentional with the rose ink product, right? I think it looks comfortable. I don't look extremely matte, and I don't know what to think about that. I was hoping to look very dry and even feel dry, but maybe I'm used to that, and that's not how it's supposed to be, because I've done a matte concoction in the past, and I felt like, 
wow, my face feels stiff and tight. It does not feel like that at all. And perhaps that's a good thing. That's my first assessment there. It feels comfortable. I'm saying this because what you could do, and you may wanna get this just in case because everyone's face is different and your environment is different. You've seen my YouTube shorts, you get what I'm referring to. You should still get this Urban Decay Ultra Matte Setting Spray because this is something that you can do on top of the NARS primer or on top of the foundation and then keep on going. Like, I would never do this at the final step like right now because I've done this spray before and I was horrified because it has clay in it and it leaves white dots on the face and it was on my eyelashes. It was horrifying. So I like to use this before the foundation or after the foundation because other stuff is going to go on top of it. But really for me, it's most ideally used before the foundation, just FYI. Okay, so there's that with the explanation because it's very important. And now onto the wig and I'm gonna do the wear test. So I'll check in with you in a second. All right, it's now 9.36 and I have to say that I feel like my face looks good. I mean, you comment and let me know. Either way, I'm gonna blot my face. I blotted my face twice today. So the differentiating factor between the different faces that I do and the products that I use is how often did I have to blot my face? Because blotting is natural. If your skin is not producing oils, there's something wrong. I mean, you have skin like paper. I never wanna have it, okay? So I did blot my face, that is normal. I blotted twice versus when I use a hydrating foundation in the summertime, I'm constantly blotting. This lip, in case you're wondering, never got touched up, so it's the same one. I did my face around 11 o'clock today. I was sitting outside, I did eat a salad, and this is my face. I think that it looks really good. I want you to comment and let me know what you think. I look healthfully shiny in the middle of my face, so in a healthy way, because normal skin produces oil. The question is how much oil is your skin producing, right? That's the differentiating factor between different people. So you might do this primer and foundation and then be so dry and so stiff that it's uncomfortable. Whereas when I did it, I felt comfortable and it's not extremely dry. It was really in the middle. When I blotted it, I didn't feel like it was an excess amount of oil. It was like moderate. Additionally, if I were to do this, like I've told you in the past, this routine in December, okay, on a cold day, because it could be 70 in December, but you know, on a cold day, then I would feel a lot drier. So you have to always think about what exactly you're going to be doing, where you're going to be going, and what your skin type is. That all will tell you how this exact routine will look on you. So you might do this and it's a smash hit and you feel extremely dry and this is your go-to. Or you might do this and it's like, no matter what my skin is so oily, this did not work, right? And there are other variations you can put to this like spraying the ultra matte setting spray that I mentioned before and or putting a translucent powder on top of everything once you're finished and or adding an SPF that is actually a mattifying one. I don't have any because I don't want to be matte with my SPF, but there are different ways that you can tweak this to get your face to be extremely dry. That is if you want it to be extremely dry. I like for there to be a comfort satin finish to it. I'm explaining this thoroughly because I know it's gonna help you. So if any of this was helpful, I want you to comment and let me know. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe Turn on notifications. Also follow me on TikTok and Instagram and Pinterest too because I am coming over Pinterest because I am, am, am. And yeah, I'm gonna wash this off, take this wig off, and go to bed because I'm tired. It's been a long day. Thanks for watching. Bye.